Mahina was something I've been wanting to do for so long and I was happy that we finally were able to do it, Pina and I together, because we prepared it together and planned it together. And Pina took a long time. I've never edited a movie for so long than Pina because editing in 3D was a new experience. And to tell you the truth, as I get older, which I do, my interest in the documentary has grown more and more. And maybe it's because all over, all around, fictional films drift off so much into fantasy, more than ever before, that I started to really cherish the realm of the documentary. And of course I'll do another fictional film, but they also take so long. I'm really happy about the way Pina is received in the world that young people react to it very emotionally. Sometimes we have people, I, I talk to people in their 80s and hadn't been in movie theaters for 30 years and of course never had seen the 3D films. So our film does translate to different ages, but it doesn't talk to the least, to the least common denominator. It, is, it tries to, to continue Pina's work and get the best out of everybody. And what did Pina Bausch see in Wim Wenders? I found in Pina the big sister I never had, and we felt very close. We were born four years apart, but almost in the same area. We had the same strange cockney of that area, if you wanted to. Both lived through post-war Germany, the 50s and 60s. Both realized in our own areas, our own professions, that we couldn't build on anything that we had to start from scratch. But so looking at the cinema that's around you, I mean, it really isn't very Pina-like. Uh, it's very different. And how do you fit in and how do you feel about the cinema? I don't fit in. I don't fit in. I never wanted to fit in. I've always made the films I wanted to make. I very often refused big budgets and offers because I still feel today that the more money you have, the less you can say. And if you have $100 million, your ability to say something useful is very limited. If you have 10% of it, you have much more freedom. And if you have 1% of it, you can say whatever you want. And you have the freedom to say big things as well. So it's also relative. Don't you think that 3D today is something of a gimmick and that people are piling into this technology to the detriment of more classic, traditional filmmaking? It is used as a gimmick, but it is really the opposite. It's a fantastic new tool. A tool that allows us, a tool that adds space to our craft. And that tool is not taken seriously. It's used as an attraction and it does rake in the money, and for the studios apparently that's enough, but it could do wonders. And it will do wonders to the documentary, and it will do wonders to filmmakers who invent the stories that really need the third dimension. In all these blockbusters, I don't see a need. I really see that it is lots of effects and lots of attraction and roller coaster rides, and, but it's a pity to use a language for that that could be used so much more richly. European films are, have a great distinction. They, they are specific. They talk about a special place, they come from a special place, and their stories take place where they belong. Most American films, and especially these fantas fantasy films, take place in nowhere land. You don't get to know anything about what that place is. The place is the least common denominator, denominator, it's nowhere. And I like films who take place somewhere. Mm. And that's why I take pictures too, because my photographs try to explore places and try to work from a sense of place and try to show how amazing places you can discover on this planet. Is it true that you believe in God nowadays? Uh, this was always the case. Oh, this was it? the case when I was a little boy. I got sidetracked in between. <laughs> <laughs> so what made you come back? Life, death, my parents' death. 
Well, you see, I lived through the 60s and 70s like everybody else. I was a socialist student and, of course, an atheist. And I looked into psychoanalysis and Buddhism and whatnot. I mean, like everybody of my age, I went and explored. And finally, I came back and realized the best thing that ever happened to me was still what I believed in when I was a kid. Thank you.